guys, I just realized I was filming this for about two, three minutes and I wasn't actually filming. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I'm tired. Um, so it's currently 6.37 in the morning. So I'm trying not to be too loud because the others are sleeping. Um, I wasn't able to sleep very well. Well, that's a lie. I slept like a brick, but I woke up early. <laughs> um, so right now, I'm. Uh, it's day one of my AIP diet, so I'm getting ready to start some meal prepping. So I have things available to curb cravings and stuff that's just easy to grab and things like that. <sighs> For these vlog formats, what I'm thinking of doing, these are going to be more informal. Um, these are basically just going to be me and the camera like this, um, basically kind of quickly showing you what I'm doing. It's not going to be the same as when I do formal recipe videos or when I do like talks in front of the camera, like I do when, you know, with my, my lights and everything. Um, this is going to be more like, you know, quick, gritty, a day in the life um, this is gonna be easier for me too because I don't always have the energy to pull out everything and do formal uh, videos that's why those are gonna be um, you know like once um, once every two weeks maybe or things like that we'll see but basically those will be for like actual cooking video recipes um, that ha will have been perfected and um, and things like that so recipes that you see here that I'm going to use some of them are going to be my own making um, which is test kitchen style um, and others will be recipes from other people's um, vlogs and uh, not vlogs but uh, websites and, and, and YouTube channels and things like that um, in which case I will link down below uh, what they are so what I'm doing right now is I am getting ready to take out from my fridge here um, I'm gonna prep all the meat so some of it needs to be bagged and just frozen um, other stuff I'm like I'm gonna make bone broth and I'm gonna make um, um, breakfast sausages as well and we're gonna work with that as well also I know like if you look in my fridge you're gonna see things that are not EIP like there's cheese there's like eggs in the corner and things like that I live with three other people <laughs> I'm lucky enough that they eat healthy I'm not gonna obviously expect them to eat EIP as well um, so that is it for now. Um, I'm going to prep and keep updating you guys as I go. And I'm hoping to do like a daily, daily short vlog. And then I basically like as I go try to do like a weekly update schedule with these where I can just do kind of highlights of all the videos and things like that and then post them and they'll be you know they'll be a little long but it'll be good for people who are wanting to try the AIP for different autoimmune um, issues and see how it uh, works and how you react and things like that because I know that I was very reluctant to try um, AIP mainly because of how restrictive it is and I'm just I don't do well when I feel like I'm restricted um I like I did really well with like vegan and I did really well with just gluten free which is I'm sure <laughs> silly people out there are like are you kidding me um but because it was only a few certain things limited. I was able to experiment a lot in the kitchen, things like that. So I'm not gonna let this stop me. I'm gonna have fun experimenting in the kitchen and I'm gonna try to turn this into a positive um, because you know, if there's one thing I'm good at, it's cooking. And looks like Lady Godiva has come to say hello. There she is, little naked girl. What are you doing? Oh, what? Get your butt out of my face. <laughs> oh, 
I won't. There you go. <laughs> Are you happy? Alright, time to get this cat off of me and get some meal prep going. Alright, so I have my spices all prepped. Um, so I have pink Himalayan salt, I have garlic powder and onion powder, I have thyme, uh, summer savory and sage, a tiny bit of um, of cloves and then a tablespoon of coconut oil and a tablespoon of uh, applesauce. Now sweeteners are not usually AIP friendly um, but this is applesauce and I will count it towards my daily allowed fruit. Um, it's not exactly one portion of fruit but with all of these made, like, I will take the hit, just have a tiny bit of a sweetness to my breakfast sausages because I like a little bit of sweetness to breakfast sausages. So, it's my first week. I don't expect to be perfect, but I'm like, that's not that bad. So, it'll go in there. Um, so, that is going to be the first step here. Just put that in there and then mix with my clean hands. All right, all the sausages have been done, and I'm getting pretty darn hungry. 7.36, and I haven't eaten yet, so it's time to eat something. So I'm going to fry up um, two of those, which is about four ounces of meat, so that's a portion. And I'll figure out what veggies I'm going to have with that. I'll probably make a salad or something, because uh, I have a uh, AIP salad uh, dressing already for it. So... I will see what I do with the rest after. Each of these bags is two portions. So that's three bags. And then I've got um, four left here. So I'm going to cook all four of them. I'll eat two and then the other two I'll probably leave for Al. That or eat later on at some point. I got my first two sizzling in the pan here. I put all four but I don't want to overcrowd the pan. No, starting to get a little bit of a mess because I'm prepping, but um, I've got the stuff for my salad here. So I've got a little bit of leftover um, zucchini. I got some cucumber. I got some sugar snap peas. Um, I've got baby carrots because last time we went shopping, um, we couldn't find any whole carrots, they only had these, and we're just trying to eat them before they go bad. Um, I have proper carrots <laughs> in the fridge. Um, then we've got the uh, red kohlrabi and the pink radish sprouts. I've got an avocado, and I've got some spring mix here. And I've got my homemade vinaigrette. Um, this is with oregano, olive oil, and lemon juice, and garlic. Um, I'm gonna grate some ginger and some turmeric into it. Not a lot, but just enough to give it a flavor, and it's anti-inflammatory, so it'll be really good. And it's a good flavor, too. So, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna get all that done so I can eat my first meal of the day. So my salad's done, and these are all cooked. I'm just waiting for Al to get up, and I just put the kettle on so he can have tea. So, getting ready, and then we will taste test these sausages. I'm just about done. I'm just steeping some tea. Um, normally, I'll use like a regular coffee cup. Today, I feel like using some from my china. So, I'm not going to steep it in there, so I'm making my brew in here, and then I'll pour it in there, because... Uh, my teapots make too big of a portion and Al's having coffee today and not tea so there's no point in using my pretty teapots. And then obviously my big glass of water that says game time bitches because I'm classy like that. <laughs> like that big glass of water and then like a fine tiny little china. I'm weird. But uh, I like this glass because I don't know. I wake up and it's like kind of my pep talk of the morning because I love my water and I love this quote. So, 
and I'm excited to try my sausages. Ready with my tea and my water. I just took my thyroid meds and I refilled my thyroid side. And then I'm gonna refill my vitamins. I might show you guys what I use for supplements. Um, it's not perfect, but it's a start. And let's take a bite out of this and see what it tastes like. It's perfectly cooked. Mm. Mm. It's really good. Oh my god. It, it doesn't help or it helps <laughs> that this is um, farm raised. Like it's not... Um, It's local pork that was pasture-raised, and uh, you can taste the difference. Mm. I'm in my happy place. I don't usually, I don't, normally if I buy meat from the store, factory farm um, meats, it doesn't taste good i like chicken has no flavor if it's factory farm pork is like almost gray color um and again has no flavor you have to basically flavor the crap out of it um yeah i did put a lot of spices in that but that meat didn't sit in the spices that long which means it didn't like absorb the flavor as much as you'd think it would so like a lot of that flavor is the actual pork um i don't know i'm a firm believer that you can taste stress in meat um, so that's why I, I like to buy meat from good sources, but that, that's a good piece of pork. What do you think, Al? Is it good? Hmm? He just nodded quietly, <laughs> but it's really good. All right, so figured I'd show you what supplements I take. Um, so I take one regular uh, daily vitamin for women, um, and then with that I add selenium. Uh, B12, uh, vitamin D, another vitamin D3 here, so let's take a look at these, yeah they're both the same, so I, I'm, right now I'm taking two. <laughs> um, I also have these from doTERRA, um, these were given by a friend of mine because his mom sells them um i'm always kind of leery of any kind of company things like this um especially since i'm never 100 percent sure what's in it but this one says uh, it's the uh, oil like tangerine peel rosemary so they're basically oils um, I'm just looking to see if these are AIP friendly. The, these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration thing that uh, kind of sets me off on them. And then this is another supplement. So, other ingredients. So, it looks like it's still AIP friendly. Um, I don't, I only have like a few pills left. Um, when I run out of these, I will not get more. Um, I mean, unless I notice that they make a huge difference, but right now these are more important along with the bone broth and um i'm really foggy today guys <laughs> um beneficial bacteria basically um for my gut so which i will get uh next payday so that's all the vitamins and then basically what i do because for anyone who has thyroid issues, you know 
extreme fog it makes it very easy to get confused and either forget to take your pills or to take them twice in a day which is not good like as you can see this week i forgot to take my um vitamins three days this week but the rest of them i've been pretty good so i'm going to continue um doing that and see if that helps as well so hopefully with the diet and the supplementation as well um it'll help a little bit until i can get to my endocrinologist and take more tests and check more things out so here's hoping so this one is a no-go i just checked the ingredients list and it has modified cornstarch so that one's a no-go um this one here i'm probably gonna keep taking it for now and then change it to something better because it says fdnc blue number two and fdnc red 40 and yellow like there's coloring in it um Nothing else in here is like very bad, but I'd rather not have that kind of stuff. So I'll try to find another, maybe like I usually go to the corn crib, which is like my natural um, place and get something better than this. And the other one here that I'm kind of sad about um, is this here, my B12 sublingual tabs, they contain, um, actually this is the French part, so I can read it, but I'm sure most of you cannot. Um, so this one here has natural cherry flavor, sorbitol, and xylitol, um, all of which are not AIP friendly. So those will have to go and uh, Monday I will get myself new vitamins for those the rest of them are, are okay um, including this one so. so I've got my crock pot um, in the dishwasher that's the noise you hear in the background so I can't make any bone broth until that's done and I forgot that my pate uh, needs bacon so I took the bacon out to thaw and then I will get started on my bacon and beef liver pate, um, which I'm kind of excited about. I'm French. You don't hear the accent very much, but my first language is French. And us French people, we love pate. <laughs> so I'm excited on this part. That's at least one thing that I won't be taken away from me. And, uh,. You can have it with vegetables, or I'll be able to have it on sweet potatoes all. That would be really good. But, uh, yeah. And the liver is really good for you because it has, it's high in iron. So, which is good because a lot of people with Hashimoto's tend to end up um, with uh, an iron deficiency. And um, I ended up with one. It did fix itself, but I almost died. <laughs> so, uh, this is important for me. So... Alright, so I've been up for about three hours and I'm really tired. <laughs> uh, curse of, of Hashimoto's, I guess. Um, so I think I'm going to go try to nap um, for, I don't know. I'm going to go to bed and we will see when I wake up because I'm basically just listening to my body right now and uh, letting things go as they go because I'm really tired. So I laid in bed for a little bit. I didn't really sleep. I just kind of rested. So now I'm getting started on the pate. Um, so I've got six slices of uh, bacon cooking. I'm going to get them nice and crispy. Then I'm going to take it out and then I'm going to use the bacon fat to fry the onions and then um, fry the liver and then make the pate. Um, it's this recipe that I'm gonna I'm using right now is uh, from the autoimmunewellness.com website. Um, so I will uh, link down below the recipe that I used.
Alright, so I have my bacon all extra crispy. That's not usually how I eat it, but this is for the recipe. Then I've got the bacon cooking here. Uh, the onions cooking in the bacon. In the bacon grease. And once this is cooked for about a minute, I'll add the garlic and the liver and let that cook. Alright, the garlic and the onions have been cooking for a few minutes. So now I'm about to add the liver and some rosemary and thyme over here. Alright, so I've got the liver cooking. That was very fresh liver. Um, my hands ended up covered in blood. <laughs> the whole bag was full of blood. It was a pretty intense murder scene uh, thing going on there. Um, so I'm just letting them cook for a few minutes on one side and then cooking them on the other side. And I've got the herbs in here as well. And then once that's done, they'll be ready for the food processor. Alright, so the liver's all cooked. I'm about to throw it in the food processor. Um, I think I'm going to cut myself a small little piece to taste though. Um, the last time I ate liver was when I was a kid. And obviously I didn't like it at that time because it wasn't cooked very well. And kids and liver don't usually mix. So... It's not bad actually. It's not um, strong liver taste. The one I tried tasted horrible, but again, this is fresh liver and it's grass fed. Like, liver is like basically what filters out <laughs> everything. So, you want to make sure that you get um, liver from a good source, you know. All right, so um, my food processor has something wrong with it, so I'm going to have to use the blender. Um, it says that it works with the blender, so we'll see. And then I've got, I'm putting in half a cup of melted coconut butter in with it. And we're going to see. All right, so that went a little bit better than uh, I thought it would. So it's all ground up. Now, the, ha <laughs> the half a cup of... Uh, Coconut oil may make some people panic, but uh, that's actually to make this set because we can't use anything else to set this. So that's what that's for. All right, all right. So the pate is all done, and it is ready to put in the fridge and cool. It actually tastes really good. The coconut kind of complements the flavor. That's what Al said. And yeah, it's really good. And I got the the bacon sprinkled on top. And uh, we'll probably try some with some veggies or sweet potato later on. Alright, so now I'm just getting ready to do the bone broth now that everything's washed. So I've got my lamb bones here. I've got celery, onion, carrot. I'm adding a little bit of extra here. I'm adding some ginger and turmeric since I have to drink a lot of this um, for health. Alright, so I've got the... Uh, all the pieces here for the bone broth, um, including garlic. I forgot to mention I have garlic in here. I leave all the skins on. Um, it does darken the broth. Some people who want a cleaner broth won't do that, but I really don't care. I couldn't find the chicken feet, so I just have the lamb bones. And uh, actually, the only other thing missing, um, I'm going to put a little bit of apple cider vinegar in here to help pull um, the, uh, the nutrients from the bones. Um, but I'm going to find my apple cider first. Alright, so I found my apple cider vinegar. Make sure it's a, uh, an apple cider vinegar with mother. So like you see here. Um, just That's just healthier. So I'm going to put one to two tablespoons in here and let it sit for about 10-20 um, minutes. And then I'll turn it on and let it cook uh, basically all day. I think I'm starting a cold actually. Um, so it's about supper time. I'm starving. Um, so I have two sweet potatoes here that I'm about to cook. Um, I have the uh, convection oven pre uh, cook, like preheated at 4:30. Um, so if you're doing this recipe like I'm doing, uh, it would be 4:50 for a regular oven. 
but uh, I'm gonna test a new recipe out. Um, keep in mind, most of these, once I perfect them, I'm gonna do an actual proper cooking video on these. Um, but I usually do sweet potato fries and I've done these. I never used to like sweet potatoes at all. I found them too sweet. Um, and this was the way that I made them to like them. The only thing is it called for smoked paprika. So I would put a little bit of avocado oil and then I would put uh, garlic powder, salt, uh, nutritional yeast, and yes, I looked it up, nutritional yeast is AIP friendly. Um, it's not an actual yeast like some stuff anyway, so it doesn't affect you. So instead of smoked paprika, because paprika doesn't have much of a flavor, what I like about the smoked paprika is the smoke. So I got some natural liquid smoke so I'm going to attempt to do a ratio here and uh, add the liquid smoke to it. So we're going to see how that goes. And once I have the full recipe perfected, I will share this um, as an official recipe video. And here's hoping it ends up really good. Um, so I'm starving. So I'm going to have one of my allowed portions of fruit per day while waiting for those potatoes to cook. Because I've eaten about five hours, which is bad. I know, I, but I just got distracted with a little bit of video editing. So hopefully I should have um, your the first video posted pretty soon. And uh, I've got a good amount. Like, we're going to see how the weekly vlogs go. Right now it's snowing out there. It's pretty... It's pretty snow. We had like some pretty wild weather there a little while ago. So, uh, like wild <coughs> as in super warm. So, and the dogs are out there. <laughs> There's no curtain at that window. So, so every so often they'll see something start barking. I think it's probably they're waiting for Al to come. But yep, now we're waiting for the food. All right, sweet potatoes have been in for half an hour. Um, I took them out, I flipped them and put a little bit of spice on the other side. Then I'm gonna put them in for probably another, I'll say 10 minutes or so just to kind of crisp them up. All right, so supper's done. Um, this one's mine, that one's Al. Uh, Al's, cause he's, uh, with his chemo, he's, um, it can cause sores in his mouth, so he needs softer food. So that's a little bit softer, the carrots are an elbow. So I've got those, and I'm looking forward to having a meal because I haven't eaten in about five hours, so I'm starving. So time to go sit in front of the TV and enjoy my meal. All right, so I have, I need to stop saying all right. Yeah. Every time, like it's like every video I start, it's all right, all right. And then I'm like, oh, I do that too fast, so I can't cut it. <laughs> so I have the chicken um, out that I had posted previously. Um, I have it stuffed with a lime and a lemon. And then on the top of the skin, I lifted the, the skin. And then between the layer of the skin and the meat... Um, I put some uh, zest and some garlic. I also have garlic stuffed in to the chicken as well. Um, and then I just sprinkled salt over the top and bottom of the chicken. And then I'm going to stick it into the oven at uh, 400 on my convection, so about 425 for a regular oven. Um, and with this size of chicken, it'll probably take about an hour and a half or so. Um, we'll see. And uh, my big food processor is warped for some weird reason so I'm gonna have to use my mini food processor to pulse a tiny bit of cauliflower at a time to make some cauliflower rice to go with this so that, that'll be fun <laughs> sarcasm all right so um, it's evening time and I have a, a drumstick here if you hear a little dog whining it's because she's desperate for us to give her some chicken um, so I just got probably one of the best compliments that uh, Al has ever given me in my life. He said that the chicken was, what was the word? Ama amazingly delicious? Or unbelievably. unbelievably delicious. That's the words he used. Um, which is high praise from him because he's a chef. 
and um, I spiralized some carrots and some zucchini and I cooked it with some leeks, some garlic, some mushrooms, and some ginger and turmeric and pink Himalayan salt and a little bit of coconut amino acids which is basically a soy free soy sauce substitute and uh, so that is going to be my meal for today and yeah I'm pretty tired um, I edited my videos today I basically had my first video almost done I clicked a button and erased everything and it hadn't saved so I'm gonna have to restart almost from scratch editing my first video so that's gonna be fun but uh, yeah so time to eat <laughs> all right so it's been a pretty busy day I'm pretty proud of myself though um, I didn't crave anything today at all um, to be fair I was kept very busy lots of meal prepping um, video editing and like I said before I was almost done my first video and then clicked a button and lost everything so I'm not very happy with that part um, but yeah it's currently 8.08 .08, so I'm gonna go to bed and uh, then we're gonna have a second day and I'll update you guys with how I'm feeling tomorrow. So, 